Hey there, welcome back to another widget making tutorial. Today we are making color widgets. Now in case you don't know what on earth is color widgets, it's an iOS app that houses colorful and aesthetic widgets like our dear KWGT. So let's get started. We won't need paid version for this trick, free version of KWGT is enough. First of all, add a 4x2 custom widget on your home screen. Now tap the widget area to set it up. Tap this page icon to start from scratch. Tap the plus icon to add an overlap group. Inside of this overlap group add a shape element. We will select a rectangular shape. Now we're gonna make it fit in the whole space. Now we'll make its corners rounded. If you wanna keep it simple, just add any color of your choice. Or if you want to make it look more cool, you can add a background. Just tap an image element in the same overlap group and choose an image of your choice. Now crop this image to sit properly over the shape. Now go one step back and open the shape element then go to FX tab select mask and select clip next module now our background is ready don't forget to save your progress now get back on the main page and add another overlap group inside of this group we'll add our battery icon so tap the plus icon and add an image element You can download the battery icon from the link in description. Now adjust its size to your own liking. Then go to position tab, paste it on the top left corner or manually reposition it. Now get one step back and add text element. Open the text, tap the formula editor. Remove pre-existing formula and insert battery level. Resize the text, change its font to SF Pro Display Bold. Change its color to black. and make it sit right over the battery icon. Now go to the main page once again and add one more overlap group. To reduce confusion, we're gonna name it time because inside of it, we'll add the text element for time. By default, it will show you time so you don't have to do anything just make it look bigger change its font to SF Pro display bold if you don't want zero open text editor and remove one edge now open paint tab and make the text translucent Now open position tab and anchor it to center right. Now get back to the first page, add last overlap group. I'm renaming it as day and date. Inside of this group, we will add one text element for day and another for date. We'll use an aesthetic font for the day. Now 
we'll put it on the bottom left corner. Now add another text element for date. We'll use SF Pro Display Bold Font for this one and put this below the day. Our widget is finally ready. You can experiment with it to make it fully yours. Like this or like this. Like and share this video if it helped and subscribe to my channel for more such content.